Good evening. An assisted living facility is closing its doors, giving elderly residents 30 days to find new homes. New specialist Garna Mejia tracking the details on this. I've been here for 15 years. This is my home. Um, you know, and now we have to leave. Errol Lawrence is a resident at the Haven in Mill Creek. He has 30 days to find a new home. People here, we're all friends and stuff like that, you know. And um, we're not going to see him again. I mean... That's the worst thing, because it's right in the middle of the holidays. Last Friday, more than 30 residents received a letter from Brad Oliverson, co-owner of the Haven at Mill Creek, informing them the facility is closing. Multiple employees also told KSL they were blindsided by the announcement and are also being laid off. I mean, 30 days to find another residence is not enough time. I think we should have been told the minute they found out that this was going to happen. James Van Rosendahl lives next door. He knows several residents through his church community. He's been digging into the matter and heard from the city that ownership is selling the property. They're not keeping any of the existing residents. So that it just raises red flags for me about, about what, you know, are there other motives or... Are there other things that are that are at play here that we don't know about? Switchpoint, an enterprise focused on providing resources to people facing housing insecurity, is the interested buyer. Their plans are to provide permanent housing for legally disabled adults who are homeless or at risk of becoming so. As for Errol, his social worker is scrambling to find him a new home that can provide the assistance he needs. It should have been handled a lot differently. They chose not to. And we reached out to ownership of the Haven and have yet to hear back. However, we did speak with the switch point. They're the interested buyers. Board of Directors President David Dangerfield said that they have made an offer on the property, but they were not involved in the decision to vacate by January 15th or employees being laid off. Uh, they said they'd welcome interested applicants. We've also been in contact with the city of Mill Creek, and they tell us that the Haven is within uh, their legal right to sell the property and even vacate. The city also expects permits for the new facility to go through, but they'll be meeting with concerned residents in the new year once all of this is finalized. I'm Garda Mejia, KSL 5 News. We're hearing from the owners of the Haven at Mill Creek, an assisted living facility that is closing its doors. On Friday, the Haven gave people living there 30 days notice to find a new home. The owner of the property telling KSL that the facility was in a tough financial situation and saw accepting an offer to sell as their best course of action. Brad Oliverson says that he acknowledged the hardship for employees and residents there and are working to help in the transition. He says that he spoke with the new buyers about keeping current employees on board and the Haven is working to ensure residents find appropriate housing. In a statement to KSL, they wrote this. We have negotiated with four nearby communities that will offer move-in specials to our residents, which in most cases will not cost them anything more. We will not move someone out without a place to go.